ones, short ones, long ones, really long ones, really short ones, medium, really long, really short. When you use restriction enzymes and you cut up, remember I asked you how many fragments you have? Do you agree that sometimes you might have maybe one big fragment and a bunch of little fragments? Or the opposite. Agreed? If you want to sort these fragments out on a gel, it's very easy. Fill a swimming pool full of gel, jello, and apply electricity. And did you know that the negative charge on DNA molecules will make them move toward the positive pole? You knew that. And they'd be repelled from the negative pole. Agreed? So the idea here is now you've got a thick, viscous gel. Which fragments will move the farthest in 45 minutes? The little ones or the big ones? The little ones. I know that you think that there's more magnetic attraction here, but the little ones, of course, can go through the gel very, very, very easily because they're smaller. They can go through that thick gel. So this is the apparatus that we use. You can either have the gel standing up or laying down. Did you pour your own gels, Marcos? No. You're going to lie again. <laughs> All right, so there are gels that are laying flat, gels that are standing up and down. When you put the, when you put the DNA inside these little wells, there are fragments that will travel different distances, and I'm just going to cut right to the chase. I'm going to go right to this one right here. Here's a gel, but it's laying on its side, okay? And here are the little wells where the DNA was placed in the beginning. Little tiny holes in the gel, okay? DNA is a negatively charged molecule. So, and by the way, we're going to still call this the top of the gel. I'm still going to call this the bottom of the gel, okay? Tell me which is the negative end and which is the positive end when we apply electricity. The bottom is what? Positive. The bottom is positive. The top is negative. I'm going to do that for you. The DNA starts off in these little wells, and do you understand it will move this direction because DNA is a negatively charged molecule and will go toward the positive pole. Agree? Right? These are not individual fragments. These are collections of hundreds of thousands to millions of fragments but they're all the same size. That's why they're migrating together. Which fragments are larger? This set of fragments here or this set of fragments up here? The first set of Those are much larger. They didn't travel very far, did they? Mm -hmm. These are very small. They traveled a long way. So do you agree that when you apply electricity, fragments will move and create a pattern? It's called a banding pattern. So take a look. Here's the victim. This is what the victim's pattern looks like with a gel. And here's the evidence that was removed from the victim. This is a rape victim. So here's evidence number one. Do you guys see right there there's a little uh, uh, set of fragments? Here's a set of fragments here. Here's a set of fragments 